Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can do Databricks to Databricks Delta sharing in Unity Catalog. So when we talk about Delta sharing, let's say you have a workspace and you want to share the data from your workspace to another workspace. Now this workspace can be in a completely different subscription, in a different tenant, anything, right? Or it can be within the same subscription as well. So if you want to share the data, how do you do that? Right, that is what we are going to see today. Now, this delta sharing is not just for Databricks to Databricks. It Databricks to Databricks is one part of it. Even if you have any other recipient, you can share the data to the any other recipient as well apart from Databricks. And we are going to see that as well in another video. So let's move ahead and see exactly how this can be done. So when you talk about Delta sharing and Unity catalog, in my previous video, you have already seen that I've created two workspaces, right? This is the Unity workspace that I have created. And then there is a UC workspace too as well that I have created in one of my demo. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the data from my Unity workspace and I'm going to share it with the UC workspace too. Now for me, both these workspace are within the same subscription. For you, they can be in a completely different subscription as well well so now think logically now i have a data set to be shared so there is a provider who is providing the data to a set of recipient so provider and the recipients are the terms used in the unity catalog so provider is the one who is sharing the data recipient is the one who is receiving the data on the receiving end right so when we talk about this let's say i want to share the data what i will do is i will first have to configure the recipient i will have to tell to the unity catalog or to the data breaks that okay i have this recipient i want to use this recipient right so for that if you go to the left hand side to the data tab right and you go to this delta sharing option if you go over here you will see that there is an option of new recipient now if i click on this new recipient I have to provide the recipient name. So let's say R E C I P I E N T recipient underscore name. So this is my recipient name, right? Now there must be an identifier unique to that particular recipient, right? I should be uniquely able to identify my recipient. Now in my case, recipient is a Databricks workspace. So I go to the workspace. This is my UC workspace too. And to get exactly my unique identifier i basically need to need to identify my current meta store id so if you uh, run this particular command select current meta store so this is the meta store id that i get you copy this meta store id and you paste it over here right and this is what exactly your sharing identifier is and then you hit on create so the moment you do this what has happened i have created that okay this is the person this is the provider uh, this is the recipient sorry not the provider this is the recipient whom i want to share the data right and then if i go to this shares option over here now share is nothing but the data that you want to share what is the data that you want to share so again if i go back to shared by me and if i click on this option of share data right so it is asking me a shared name so let me call it as share underscore name it is nothing but it is the set of data that you want to share right now if i click on create now you will see what has happened I got this particular window where it is asking, where it is saying me that right now there are zero tables and zero notebooks. So if you are trying to transfer the data from one Databricks workspace to another workspace, you can transfer or you can give the access to the tables as well as the notebooks, not just the tables. You can also give access to the notebook. And now if you go over here, right? And uh, in case you have a share and if you want to, you know, rename it or delete it, you can do it from here as well. Now, if you go to this manage assets, now the moment I click on this drop, drop down, you can see I have both these two options because I can, uh, you know, share the tables as well as the notebook. So let me click on this add tables. The moment I click here, you will see that I have an option to choose the catalog I want to share. Let's say I want to share quick start catalog. And then I want to share this schema and whatever the tables are. So in my case, there's just one table present. If you have multiple tables, you can select what tables you want to share. And after that, just click on save. So basically what you have done uh, with this, we have created that, okay, this is the recipient and this is the share. So basically I have a recipient. I have a uh, share of the data that I want to share with that particular recipient. Now to link this 
particular table that this particular share to the recipient that okay i have created this data set i want to share it but with whom so for that i will click on add recipient over here and this add recipient is nothing but the same recipient which i have added right so think logically again it is you have created a recipient you have created a data set which is called as shares right and then you are saying that this share has to be provided to this particular recipient so that is where you have given this recipient name now again if you go back to share by me so you have this share which is nothing but the share uh, name you have this recipient as well right and this is uh, if you go inside the share you can actually see the list of tables or the notebooks whichever you want to share and who is the recipient to that particular share now in this if i go to the recipient if i go to this recipient option over here this is the recipient which is about to get which which i am about to send my data to i have to grant access or i would have to grant that share you know for that person to be able to see this particular data set in their workspace so if i click on this grant share option i will go ahead click on the data set that i want to share finally and then click on grant so the moment i did do this you know and if i go to my second workspace if i go to the data tab over here and again in this is the uc workspace 2 right if i click on the uh, delta sharing option over here right and if i click on shared with me so the moment i click on shared with me you can see because uh if you see the second workspace right if you go to the shared with me option in the sex uh, shared with me option in the second workspace you will see that there is a provider provider means somebody has provided you you the data right you have a provider coming in from here which is my first workspace right if i click over here right you will see that okay they have sent some share and the share name is this okay there are few details about it and create a catalog now let me call it as share catalog okay and click on create so whatever data set they have sent me i am creating a catalog and i am putting all the data from that particular uh, share into my catalog over here and then you can see that i got this share underscore catalog i have this quick start schema and i got this quick start table so basically what i have done is i have taken the data from here quick start catalog quick start schema this is the table that i've shared and this table i am able to access over here as well so this is nothing but this is what is called as delta sharing you have set of provider and you have set of recipient so in the target workspace you go and check what is shared with you and then you create a catalog from it so that all the data you can actually access and remember that the day the, the workspace that you are trying to send the data to right so for example my uc workspace 2 even if unity catalog is not enabled on this uc workspace 2 still it will work so delta sharing will work even if the other workspace does not have uc enabled uh i guess uh, i have uh, you know uh spoken the other way around so if you are trying to share the data from one workspace to another we have to make sure that the second workspace also have uc enabled so i think i said the other way around sorry for that so basically when you check i am sharing the data from my unity workspace to my uc workspace 2 so my unis uc workspace 2 should have uc enabled if it does not have unity catalog enabled it is not going to work right so in my previous video we have enabled uc on both the workspaces and then i am sharing my data set from unity workspace to unity workspace 2 and both of them have uc enabled right now if uc workspace 2 does not have unity catalog enabled then in that case this delta sharing is not going to work so it is mandatory for the both the both the sides of the workspace should have unity catalog enabled on it so i hope you like this particular video and uh, do let me know if you have any comments questions you know in the comment section and thank you so much for being till here but do remember to like subscribe and share my channel